In my last video, I rented this mini excavator from Home Depot to dig the footings to the pier and beam foundation to the A-frame home that my wife and I are building as a short-term vacation rental property in Canyon Lake, Texas. But things didn't go as well as I hoped. I almost fell off the excavator and I could have lost $28,000 if I returned the excavator damaged. So I chose to dig the footings with something a little more hands-on. I brought this big boy with me, but it's not exactly easy. Woo! Did y'all see that? And that's when my new neighbor, Dennis, who's been in the construction industry for 40 years, says to me, I think you might be doing this the wrong way. Good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful day. I can't wait to get started. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the land. Today is gonna to be a crazy day. I got some great stuff planned. Let me start off with this. So, ooh, I got a job to do today. And I brought this big boy with me. So this is an auger bit. It's a big old auger drill and I'm gonna use it to finish off the hole. So last episode, I went around with the mini excavator. Go back and watch that if you haven't, it was crazy. And I dug about half the footings for the house. For today, I'm gonna to finish them up with this bad boy. And I'm also gonna use this for a lot of things in the property actually. I'm gonna use it to dig these footings for the foundation. I'm gonna use it to actually dig out where our, our meter box is gonna go for the electricity soon. So I have it for that. And I have it for digging the fence we plan on putting up right here in the front of the property. So I have it for all that stuff. This is actually gonna be a really good investment for us. I'm super excited to use it. Now, I know I'm gonna incur some drama today, even though I got the big boy with me, because on this property, we got a whole lot of rock. We got a whole lot of wood. So I know I'm only mere seconds away from hitting guys like this and even uh, guys like this, big stones. That thing's heavy. <laughs> So I know I'm only seconds away from that. So for that, I got my tool bag right here. I got all the handy dandy stuff. Mainly, I'll be using the reciprocating saw when I hit wood. And then when I hit rock, I got these bad boys. I got my cheap shovel, my more expensive one, just to kind of square out the edges, but I should be good with these bad boys today. The goal for today is to finish digging these freaking footings. Okay, <laughs> we got to finish it now. Like today because I would like to come back here tomorrow and start setting up the sono tubes. That way we can pour concrete soon and have all the cement poured for our foundation. That way we can get started on the exciting stuff like building the deck, putting up the A's for the A-frame. Once we get there y'all, I mean there's a lot of other many things to do, but we're going to be very close to having a very solid structure up, very close to inviting some guests. Okay, not that close, but we're gonna be getting there, okay? Let's get started. Oh. All right, y'all, first hole. Okay, let's go. Start in this corner. Okay. All right. Okay. This thing has some giddy. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go keep digging. Oh, hello. It really is better to keep it on your knees. If you can, this thing wants to run on me a little bit. I got some boulders right here, look at this. And that's why I got my shovel. Cause this thing's not really a match for boulders like this. Can I get it? Look at this. So, so far, using the auger and using the shovel, 
is way more work as I expected. But I will tell you, I do like not worrying about whether or not I'm gonna lose $28,000. <laughs> that is very peaceful. It's very calming. Let's see, let's see if I'm close to 12 inches yet. I'm getting there. Right now I'm at eight inches. It's not bad. It's a lot of rock right there. See if this helps me out a little bit. So because the auger has a lot of kickback because this is rocky soil, so I get it. What I'm doing is just really playing it safe by not really pushing it. I'm more so letting it do the digging for me than I am the drilling, if you catch my vibe. Look at that, a little tree stump. So here's some specs with the Ryobi auger drill. The tool weighs about 34 pounds, the bit's diameter is eight inches, and the length of the bit is 34 inches. And the battery lasted all day, which was roughly six to eight hours of use. Oh, look at that right there. So earlier, I was uh, reading a blog the article is about building a house on solid rock and some of the problems that you run into. Well, in that article, he outlines that two houses up from him, they actually had, they were building a new home. They actually had to use dynamite. <laughs> dynamite, because the soil was so rocky, they had to blow it up to get rid of the rock, which is crazy. I don't think we need to do all that here. I think a whole lot of patience <laughs> and muscle is <laughs> what we need to do. So using the auger drill to dig the footings, which are 12 inches deep, isn't exactly easy. It can be kind of taxing physically after an eight hour day. I'm getting a cramp already. It's only my fourth hole. Stretch it out, baby, stretch it out. Ugh. Woo! Y'all see that? <laughs> With this auger bit, dude, it's only a matter of when it hits you in the leg, really. <laughs> like, like, that's it. It's basically like when this auger hits me in the thigh. It's like, you know, when you were younger, maybe like a teenager, maybe younger, and you would just be with your homies, and y'all play that game where you hit each other in the shoulder. So your homie hits you in the shoulder, and then you gotta act like it doesn't hurt you. That's what this feels like, you know what I mean? Like. Like a, like a quick punch, but you gotta act like, oh, I don't feel nothing. You, you gotta act like you're tough. That's like the equivalent of how it feels. And you know your boy back in the day too, he would try to like swing for you. <laughs> Cause that's the thing, like acting tough only went so far and they start knowing that you're not gonna show any sign of weakness. So now they wanna go extra hard. Hey, comment below if you have friends like that. Maybe you have friends like that right now. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's the last hole right here. I'm standing on the last hole to be dug. Still need to do my touch-ups, but man, this is amazing. It's a wonderful feeling. It is very exhausting, but when you're doing it and you got a real motivation and it's more than just some temporary thing, all of a sudden you find energy to dig. Let's go. Let me tell y'all a story real quick. So back in the day, when I worked in corporate America, of course, this is only months ago that I was there, but oftentimes you're pushing yourself to work, I don't know, till seven, eight, nine, 10, whatever, maybe later in the evening after waking up really early to work and you're, and you're working the whole day, you're not taking a lunch, you're doing all these things so you can make somebody else rich instead of yourself. I mean, you might get some money, don't get me wrong, like jobs have their place and you can make a good amount of money. But at the end of the day, you're really lining someone else's pockets probably tenfold. And you know what? I'm now a business owner and I'm probably gonna be the guy at the top pretty soon, not digging the holes and somebody else is gonna be helping me get more wealthy. All I'm saying really is if you're willing to put in the work for somebody else who will have you here today and out tomorrow, put in the work for yourself. So while I was digging the holes to the footings for the foundation, my neighbor Dennis came over to tell me that the night before 
he actually had a dream about the house's foundation. He said, last night I had a dream that I was supposed to tell you to dig the footings in the back of the house to 24 inches deep instead of 12 inches, which I replied, well, according to the 2021 code, the minimum depth for footings is 12 inches. Is there a reason you think I should dig deeper? And he said, well, I don't really know, but the house's weight plus the slope of the hill is kind of making me think that you should just dig the last row of footings at the back of the house 24 inches deep. And for me, at the end of the day, I just want to be the best home builder that I can possibly be. And even though I've read books about building and I've done light remodeling in the past, I don't know everything about everything when it comes to building. I'm always learning and I'm always researching. So the thing that bothered me the most was that I didn't have a good rebuttal for Dennis's statement. I didn't have a great reason as to why I shouldn't dig the footings any further. So I decided to take a break and I just kept thinking about the footings. Woo, it's been a day so far. So y'all see I'm sweating, right? You see that, this is real. So what I'm gonna do right now is just spending more time like educating myself on like footings and researching I did. I kept studying how people dug the foundation. I read more books. I did more research on the internet. I watched more YouTube videos and I even called structural engineers. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I called you earlier. So by now, if you've been watching my videos, you know my motto, only the best for my guest. And that model applies to even the house's foundation. So there's only one way to get to the bottom of how deep the house and footings need to be. So subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and be notified when I roll out my master plan for the house's foundation depth and building this amazing short-term vacation rental house from the ground up. And as always, I can't wait until you're here. See you guys next time on the channel. It's hard rock. Right now, I'm building an A-frame house in Canyon Lake, Texas that my wife and I are going to use as a short-term vacation rental. And as I'm digging the footings for the foundation, my new neighbor, Dennis, comes up to me and asks, why are you digging the footing so shallow? I told him that the IBC and IRC codes say that the minimum footing depth is 12 inches, which is what I was digging. But that question really made me think, why am I not digging the footings any deeper? That's when I started calling a bunch of structural engineers to ask them what to do, and you would not believe their answers. I mean, if they go a foot into the ground, that ought to be enough, right? 